Okay, so I got the pin sound collection finally. Shipped uh, to me today, December 23rd. Subwoofer in this box, very nice packaging. Got the spe placement speakers, the board, cable and the things for the speakers, and a little sticker. Okay, really uh, good quality packaging. This came a long way to Canada, so everything looks like uh, it made the shipment okay. Really nice, high quality speakers. That's a sub. These are the two new backboard speakers. Some templates, wires, and there's the board. I'm going to leave it nicely wrapped over here and some adapters and whatnot. Here's a close-up of the uh, of the speaker. All right, pretty nice. And of course, the sub. I'm going to be uh, replacing the speakers first using their little speaker installation cart, and this is going into my Adams Family game. Okay, so I took the uh, back glass out and uh, remove the speaker board. You can see that one is smaller than that one. And I never noticed that before. <clears throat> Basically, you've got your mono wire coming down, goes to the old speaker, jumpers off, and then over to the small speaker. That's also got a capacitor kind of in along with it. So you can see the difference in the sizes. So I'm going to uh, remove the wire and then remove the four screws and all of this stuff and put in the new ones. All right, I took the screws out. So here's the original uh, speaker. And you can see there the replacement, uh, replacement speaker. It's also got kind of a nice coating to it. And then it just uh, fits nicely back right in there, like so. Now this was interesting. For the speakers, they give you um, these types of threaded uh, screws, but these were the ones that came out, and <clears throat> I'm going to use those. All right, so there's the uh, new one installed. I put the ground back just because just they didn't say to. Um, so again, logo kind of facing me. That one's in. Here's just a close-up of the other side. You can see a much smaller uh, tweeter kind of thing. That comes out and an adapter goes in. So I've removed that and the uh, capacitor. And here's the plastic adapter that goes on. So there's the four original holes. They line up with those four. Like so. So I'm going to fasten these four back in with the ones that I took out. Okay, that's all secure. And then the speaker kind of goes over top. Sorry. And gets screwed into those holes using the small screws that they provided. Okay, so there it's in. Uh, those were the self-tapping plastic screws that go into the adapter. The adapter gets screwed down to the board with the screws from the previous speaker. So now they're both in place, but not wired. Wiring harness, that goes up to the board that I have not installed yet. And then you have quite a bit of wire. This one goes to the subwoofer. The other two go as marked left and right speakers. There we go. You'll notice also they're sized, so you can't put the positive on the negative or the negative on the positive. I'm going to kind of run it along like the other one did and bring them all out together and up. All right, so I was able to get all the wires tied back. I put another little tie right here and I fed the subwoofer wire down the chute. So here's the jack that's going to go up to the board when I replace that. Also, just make sure all your Ribbon cables and things are still well seated after kind of moving everything around. Then you can put this back in. These speakers are done. We'll uh, wire up the subwoofer next. Always a good plan to uh, 
take the balls out before you're going to raise the play field. If you have the Adams Family Gold, there's a testing feature that lets you empty the balls. If not, you can just sort of pop them up. Here we are inside. I'm going to remove, I have an external Polk subwoofer that I may not be needing anymore. I'm going to put that wire over there. You can see we've got our cables, we've got a ground loop through, uh, and we've got some hex nuts to take off before we put in the adapter and the sub. So let me get working on that. I'll take it out and show you. Okay, that was very uneventful. I took all the screws and put them in my little dish here. Remove the wires, remove the ground. This can be kind of cleaned a little if you want. Uh, and then we're going to get the uh, we're going to get the adapter and the adapter sort of fits over those and then gets tightened back down. So that used the original screws. I still looped that ground. I looped it underneath through the, um, through the screw and uh, back out. So that's in place. Now we can put this monster in. It lines up with these screws. And I was able to find and fish the uh, subwoofer cable. So let me just attach this. You don't need to watch. And uh, we'll move on. So there it is. I had to lower the play field a little bit to get that back screw in place. But uh, all in all, pretty simple. I used the longer screws here and made sure that that puppy was tight. So neatened up the wires a little bit. I like having them all neatly put away. Okay, so now field is back down. Uh, speaker is in. I pulled the slack wire up. So here's the wiring harness for the board that is back here. Power is off, by the way. If you see a couple lights on, that's because they're powered by a separate power supply. So that's the board in there with a bunch of stuff around it and ribbon cables and all sorts of jazz. So good luck to me. Here's a more of a close-up of, uh, of the original board. You can see it's held in by uh, screws on, on uh, spacer things. There's a couple of ribbon cables that go on it, go around it. There's this little <laughs> very brittle heat sink that was on that monster there. A couple fuses down there. Uh, connector 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 so ribbon cable connector 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 i always take lots of pictures as well take your camera phone your camera phone take the phone on your camera sorry the camera on your phone and uh, take lots of pictures a little tip i left the glass out so if i drop something heavy i won't break it uh, I've put a towel over the play field at the top just in case I drop anything it'll get caught in here and I won't have to go searching for it in there. Okay so the old board came out fairly cleanly no problems. You'll also notice I've got the upgraded ROMs for Adam's Family Gold so it'll be interesting to see how the sounds from pin sound uh, work with Cousin, it's hideout. New boards installed. Ribbon cables are all back and double checked. Uh, we didn't need any of the brackets or any of the things that uh, uh, adapters and whatnot that came with it. It fits perfectly in, no issues whatsoever. There's the speaker uh, connector J10504505. This connector here. We got that little puppy in up there and that one. And again, I tightened it down, not too tight, just enough. Here's also the USB uh, connector that I've got to do next. So the board's in. I took these out, e even though it showed to put them in. These are the original speaker cables. 
So since I replaced the speakers, I don't need to put those back in. I'm just gonna tie them off later. Uh, I'm not gonna remove the wires. I keep the old boards and all the original stuff in case there's ever a need to do that. But these are the these are the new uh, stereo 2.1 uh, connectors. And just double checking, I downloaded the uh, original sound file um, to the USB. I have not turned this on yet. I wanted to try to do that live and see. All right, here we go. I see lights. That's good. I don't smell anything burning. That light is supposed to be green, but it looks like it's white. You Performing audio conversion. Please wait. Okay. Very cool. These are all good things. That's the music from the board. So the sound's working. There's a zip file on the flash drive, and you have to leave the flash drive in forever. Pretty exciting. Sounds awesome. <laughs> Still going. Still flashing. That's a good sign. They have great videos online as well. All right, well, this is going to run for a bit. I'll get back to you when it's finished. Okay, so it took a while. I kept watching this to sort of see what was happening. But it looks like everything worked out just fine. I heard the uh, startup sound. So... I don't have the pinballs in. Let me try that first. So I installed the uh, the sound and the zip file, and we're all ready to go. So let's see what it sounds like. Welcome, my net guest. Have a nice swim. Good evening. 